Welcome everyone to the very first episode of the new year of Drawing Shenanigans. So, it's 2020, Happy New Year to all of you, I know it's a couple of weeks in already, but that's okay. Uh, it's still valid to wish people Happy New Year until the end of January, I think. Um, but I decided to start the new year with a viewer suggestion, and this suggestion came from Eric Contreras, and Eric, a very nice guy, he was present on the previous premiere stream uh, where I did Pokemon Fusions and he asked me to draw a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, he, saw, he said it might be cool and you know what, I thought it might be cool as well so that's what I decided to do. So let's get started and full disclosure I uh, am recording the audio for this uh, drawing after I drew the drawing because this drawing at first I thought I won't be that bad, you know, drawing a dragon, that sounds cool. But I neglected the fact that I never drew a dragon before. And my knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! is extremely limited. Um, and, you know, I was doing some, some research. I actually watched a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes on Netflix. I will get to that later. But I remember that in the suggestion, Eric had suggested that one of the monsters could be, for example, the blue eyes, white dragon, uh, Seto Kaiba's favorite card. Uh, I do know that just from watching two episodes. The guy loves them. But I thought, that sounds great. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, like I said, I didn't have a lot of previous knowledge on Yu-Gi-Oh! But um, I did watch a couple of episodes and I thought, you know what? One thing's for certain. Blue eyes, white dragon... It's a pretty cool monster, so that's what I decided to do. So Eric, if you're watching somewhere, maybe you'll watch this later. Maybe you're in the premiere right now, who knows? Uh, we'll find out, but regardless, this one's for you. Of course, it's for all of you. And I want to remind all of you that you can give me your drawing suggestions and there's a good possibility that I will pick them for future episodes. Uh, like I said, this drawing, it had its fair amount of challenges, but it was fun. And as you can see, I'm starting with the, a detailed face uh, for Blue Eyes White Dragon first. Normally I wouldn't do this, but because this is the first time that I was drawing uh, this very good dragon, I did a few practice runs before. So um, I was actually surprised that I came up with my concept for Blue Eyes White Dragon fairly quickly. But w when I tried to redraw that drawing, <laughs> uh, or when I redrew that drawing, I wasn't super happy and then I tried again and then it turned out better. But you'll see with this recording, there will be sections where I just cut off entire body parts and so on and I redo them. So there will be some edits here and there uh, because this uh, drawing took me a couple of hours to get done. Uh, and of course I'm editing it down so that it doesn't look like it's that long. Um, I don't know that you guys would have the patience to sit here and watch me <laughs> draw the same lines over and over for two hours, but uh, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I was looking up at some designs for Blue Eyes White Dragon, and uh, it's a very cool uh, dragon. And one thing that I wanted to do, I didn't want to just draw um, Blue Eyes White Dragon, just like it looks in the anime or something. I wanted to kind of create my own version of Blue Eyes White Dragon and so I took some liberties and made some changes to the face and to the body and uh, I think it worked out pretty well um, but yeah I think it's important even though uh, you know you want to <laughs> you want people to look at this dragon and be like oh yeah I recognize that monster it's definitely the good old Yu-Gi-Oh monster uh, but I still wanted to make it my own. And like I said, I was actually doing some uh, <laughs> Netflix viewing of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Apparently they have the like five seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! On, <laughs> on Netflix. There's a lot of episodes. I think each season has like 49 episodes. Uh, but just so you guys see how I take your suggestion seriously, I actually took time to watch a couple of episodes and do some research just so I was a little bit better informed about Yu-Gi-Oh! because um, when I was younger, I don't know why, 
I never picked up Yu-Gi-Oh! I guess uh, at the time my big thing was Dragon Ball and Saint Seiya and I guess I just never really got into Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon for sure too. But um, yeah, I watched a couple of episodes and I, I'm starting, even by episode 2 I'm starting to see a pattern and uh, I'm watching a dub version <laughs> and the fact that uh, the villain calls Yugi Yugi Boy, it just struck a chord with me and I just, I like it. So uh, I noticed that um, they probably took some liberties with the dubbing of the, the, the anime. Actually, there's also subtitles in Brazilian Portuguese and so on, and they're also fun to listen to. But yeah, the concept of Yu-Gi-Oh! is out there, you know, it's not the most outlandish concept. Uh, and I do plan on watching a few more episodes, I promise I'm not, you know, I am going to give it a chance. Uh, but the first two episodes, they were, you know, a little bit out there. Very dramatic right from the start, I must say. But uh, that was my first <laughs> objective. I watched a couple of episodes and then I was like, okay, I can do this. Uh, the dragon seems fairly complex to draw, but I'm going to try it because I promised there. Well, actually, I didn't promise anyone yet. I just said I might do it, but I have to stick with it. One thing for me, it's, even though if something is really hard and I'm like, oh, I might not be able to draw this, uh, I'm still going to try. You know, even if it takes a while to get it done. Uh, and with the head shape, um, the original Blue Eyes White Dragon, it has a, a longer face. But like I said, I really wanted to, to make this version of Blue Eyes White Dragon different. I wanted to make it my own. Um, so the face shape is a little bit different, although it still has those spikes uh, that come from the back of its head. Um, this dragon's gonna bite you for sure. And we're gonna give it a long neck. Uh, some versions have a longer neck than others. But that's another thing. Um, when I was looking up uh, blue eyes, white dragon images uh, from the anime and stuff like that, uh, there's different versions, different interpretations of uh, the card. And I kind of just wanted to pick something that was just a mix of things, I guess. So, while I still want you to be able to recognize this monster as being Blue Eyes White Dragon, um, I have to always be careful not to say White Eyes Blue Dragon. I don't know why, but it's something that I... Sometimes I'm, I feel that I'm going to say it, but I catch myself before it's too late. But even though you can recognize uh, this monster from Yu-Gi-Oh!, I also wanted this design to be something where it's just a cool dragon, you know? Where people might just look at this dragon and be like, oh, it could be like a, a monster in some RPG game that you have to battle. And with the wings here, they're going to be very big wings. And I actually cut out the first set of wings that I drew because I felt they were too small for the body. So you want this monster to have a giant wingspan so that it can support its weight. Uh, and... Oops, that was not supposed to happen. You're going to start seeing the the very edge of my drawing space here. Uh, I'm going to be moving it around a lot because I don't want to shrink the body too much over and over. Otherwise, what tends to happen is uh, when I'm doing like a drawing that takes a, a lot of space, if I start uh, reducing the size of the body parts that I've drawn already and then... Um, I draw other body parts, <laughs> you'll have like a head that's giant or, and a body that's very tiny or a head that's very tiny uh, with giant, but a body with giant hands or something like that. So this time I'm just going to move around the canvas a little bit. So bear with me. I know you're going to be able to see uh, the very edges of the, the drawing area. But for this project, I just, I was in the zone and uh, like I said, it took me a few tries to get it right uh, and to come up with a, a drawing that I was happy with. So, um, 
there was a lot of back and forth and at one point um, I actually got slightly frustrated with the drawing and uh, started over not uh, during this time that was during one of my practice runs if I could I think it's fair to label it that way but uh, I want this dragon to essentially have its wings opened and maybe kind of uh, look as if it's looking over the shoulder it's definitely going to be flying uh, maybe it's looking over its shoulder and being like hey yo Kaiba give me an order man come on uh, not that I guess they don't need to give orders to the card they just say you know they just place the card and say go or something like that uh, but this blue eyes white dragon is come alive and is waiting for orders from Kaiba um, you know who I found it very interesting that <laughs> Kaiba is supposed to be this teenager he doesn't look like a teenager at all uh, the dude looks like he could be like 35 maybe and uh, yet he's still somehow in high school and at the same time he's the head of the Kaiba Corporation uh, probably something happened to his dad I haven't gotten that far like I said I'm I finished episode 2 um, while I was having breakfast and it was a wild experience I'll say uh, but sometimes it's it's nice to try and draw something that you don't have a lot of knowledge of uh, because it's something completely different so so far uh, all the things that I drew so far uh, for drawing shenanigans uh, I feel have been things that I do have some moderate knowledge of uh, you know, I might not be super well informed on all of my Sonic lore or Super Mario lore, but, you know, I do know some things. With Yu-Gi-Oh, like I said, I had to do my research, uh, but sometimes that might create uh, something that's a bit, you know, more unique in its own way. Uh, again, <laughs> this time this drug is completely out of bounds, as you can see. Uh, bear with me, it will only last for a while. I just need these swings to really look big and I want them to kind of match in size too so there's another zoom in here uh, I will try my best to avoid showing the outlines of the canvas but for this per for this specific project it just worked and um, you'll see by the end of it that uh, there were some body parts that I had to keep adjusting um, like for example I'm drawing this claw here but I am going to change it uh, a little bit later on make it a little bit smaller uh, but I do want uh, this dragon to have giant claws uh, you know he's ready to rip someone in half and that's one of the features of blue eyes white dragon that I did want to keep but I still wanted to make the claws my own so um, this could be claws that you could find on any dragon really and and like I said you know I want this dragon to feel like it could be on different franchises yes it's blue eyes white dragon but it could be used as a dragon that a princess or a prince you know whatever uh, have to slay to reach their beloved because to be honest I think we could use some more princesses saving their own butts but that would be good anyway <laughs> putting that aside uh, I really want this design to be something that just can be used wherever and I know you can see the upper body part now but this is a part that I struggled with a little bit because I wanted to make the body kind of look like it's like a, a, a steel surface in a way uh, and make it seem like a very uh, hard body that you couldn't pierce with a normal weapon or something like that um, and now I'm just gonna draw uh, the feet with the claws as well and again I want to give this dragon big claws like I really want you to uh, if you look at this dude guarding like a, a castle wall or something like that you know you're going to have some problems uh, getting through uh, the dragon or if you're just playing a card game like with Yu-Gi-Oh then you're just going to be well I'm screwed yeah my game is over I'm going to lose but you know sometimes you just have to keep trying um, 
but like I was saying, there is going to be a finished version of this drawing um, on my Twitter. And in fact, if you want to get updates on animations and drawings and what I'm doing, that's the best place to follow me. Uh, I have been posting there more frequently. That's one of the things I want to do with the new year. I want to be more active on other platforms. Man, now let's get this second leg in here. Uh, I do love the, the little spikes that Blue Eyes White Dragon has um, on uh, the back of its uh, paws, essentially. Uh, they look pretty cool. I just think that this, this monster just looks like... I can understand why it's such a powerful card. And watching the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, that's my experience. Uh, I can see why Kaiba was kind of obsessed with getting the card. Uh, though what happened to Yugi's grandfather, I just... Too much, too much. Anyway, let's reduce this because we have the pause now. And as you can see, <laughs> we definitely have to fix these legs, make them a little bit bigger because right now he looks like a blue eyes white dragon with uh, tiny legs. We can't have that. We need to give this guy bigger legs, otherwise he won't be very intimidating. He'll be coming for him like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Yugi. Yugi boy, I'm coming for you. <sighs> but you really can't go very far, can you, with those tiny legs? So that's a little bit better. We have to make sure that the legs can support the body weight. Even if it's supposed to be just a card, it still needs to make sense. And now let's give this guy very big tail. Um, it's really cool because Blue Eyes White Dragon has this armored tail uh, and I want to create that as well uh, but I am going to cut out the parts where I um, am just erasing lines over and over I feel that takes a while and I don't want this video to, you know be too too long uh, but I want to get the general shape of the tail in there and I'm pretty happy with it. I, I admit uh, it took some work and it, it was a challenge in a way, but um, I do like that armor tail. Uh, and as you can see, I just cut out the part where I erase uh, the line of the tail um, in the drawing. To be fair, I could have drawn the tail in a different layer and then just literally uh, merged the two layers together. But as I was doing this drawing, I was so focused on it. I wasn't even thinking straight at this point. So I was just like, okay, this time it's going to work and it's going to be fine. <laughs> and Eric will be proud of me. No, uh, even if Eric's not, I mean, I, I still think it's very fun to do uh, viewer suggestions. So please keep giving them to me and I might pick them. As you know, I'm just one person and, you know, you juggle all these projects that you have, but that's what you have to do to keep the YouTube dream alive, I guess. <laughs> and uh, here's our friendly dragon. We need to fix that one claw. I don't like it. It feels like it's too thin. Uh, it needs to be a little bit more composed. Uh, so that's a little bit better. But this dragon is definitely going to come to get you. And... Yeah, if you see this thing, either throw your game away and run away, or, you know, you're going to have a, a tough battle against this guy, that's for sure. But anyway, that's my Blue Eyes White Dragon, and you're going to see the finished version on the screen now. So, this is going to be it, guys. Please give me more suggestions for future Drawing Shenanigans episodes. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like I said before. I post all of the finished projects there, so if you want a copy of the drawing, feel free to go there and get it. I also post regular updates on animation projects and so on. Um, if you like some of the songs in this video, uh, check the link in the description to Epidemic Sound. That's where I get all of my music from. And that's going to be the very first episode of 2020. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We'll see what 2020 brings, but... As long as I have this dragon, I think I'll be okay. So, you know, we have to be positive, that's for sure. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a happy new year, and I'll see you later.